Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Super excited about this trick. This is one of my absolute favorites, probably top 15, top 10 uh, even, maybe. Uh, it's called Magic Maze, and I hope you like it. I'm excited to share it with you today. This trick's a lot of fun. Uh, so a few things on the table here. I've got uh, a pen and a paper. We'll get to that uh, in a moment, a dice as well. Uh, you don't need a dice if you have a spectator, because uh, a spectator would make some random selections, some free choices. Uh, but since there's not a spectator, I'm going to use a dice instead. Uh, I've got uh, some cards here. And you'll notice they've got random lines on it. Now these are pieces of a maze. We're going to build a maze and kind of work from one end to the other. And let me kind of lay out what we're looking at here. Uh, over here is the goal. We have five colored dots here, yellow, blue, green, red, and purple. One of these is going to be the goal, the end, uh, the, you know, the, the finish line. The other four will not be. And over here is the start. There's five different starting positions. Now the goal is to go from your starting position to whichever our finish line color is. And if you do that, you win the magic maze. Now, this trick is all about spectator decisions. So the first decision I would ask the spectator is which color do you want to be the finish line? Yellow, blue, green, red, purple, completely free choice. Whatever color they pick will be our goal. Now they would just pick a color if somebody was here, but I'm gonna roll the dice and we'll say one, two, three, four, five, just to randomly determine our goal. So one, so we'll say yellow is our finish line. And I'm gonna write that down just so we remember. Yellow is our goal. And so the, the object is to get to yellow. The other four don't matter. You want to win by getting to yellow. Now, to make things a little bit more interesting, we could even wager some money if you want. So I've got a dollar bill here. I'm going to put that right underneath just to make things a little bit more uh, more interesting person that gets to yellow will get a dollar bill. Now what's going to happen is we've got five starting spots over here. I'm going to get one of them. I'm going to get a starting spot. What I'm going to do, because I'm such a nice guy, is to give the spectator four starting spots. So I'm not going to have one and you're going to have one. I'm going to have one. You're going to have the other four. And only one of these five starting points will lead to the yellow. So you're going to have a four out of five chance of making it to the yellow and winning this dollar bill. I'm only going to have one position. You're going to have four. So what would happen? Again, free choices. If there was a spectator here, they could just give me the four numbers that they want, that they want to be their starting points, and the one that's left over would be mine. This is not a force uh, or, or anything like that. The spectator could clearly give me the four numbers they want, it's as simple as that. So, since there's not one here, I'm going to roll the dice. The four numbers that I roll will be the, the, the spectator's uh, positions. The one that's left over will be mine. So I'm going to roll a four. So they'll, they'll have four. Uh, they'll have one. Uh, there is no six. Uh, four. Three, they'll have three, and either two or five will be their last one. Uh, sorry about this. Two or five, any day now, two. So I believe they got one, two, three, four, leaving me with five. So just to make this easy to remember, I'm going to write this down. The magician, that's me. I get starting spot five. The spectator, that's you, you get starting spots one, two, three, and four. So obviously your odds are much better than mine of being the correct path that leads to yellow. So all we have to do now is fill in the maze, of course. So I've got these cards here that I showed you at the beginning. And I would hand these to the spectator, and they can shuffle them up, mix them up as much as they want. 
Uh, look them over first. They are all different. It's just a bunch of random lines that create uh, you know, a path when you put them together. Spectator can shuffle these up. They can rotate them if they want. If they want to turn some you know, upside down to create a different path, they can do that. Mix them up as much as they want. I won't even look really. Mix them up, rotate them. And the spectator can lay them out in any order they want. Put any card wherever they want. So let's just do something like this. Again, completely free choice by the spectator. They would do that if there was a spectator here. Now I'm gonna cover up the end because I don't want you to look ahead. But what's gonna happen is we're gonna take a look at our five uh, positions here. And we're gonna follow each path all the way through the maze until the very end. Only one of these paths leads to that yellow dot, that prize, the dollar bill at the end. Hopefully it's me, but I don't like my odds. I only have one starting position. You have the other four. So uh, I would say the time has come to let's, uh, let's check out the maze and see who gets that dollar bill. Now, the easy way to do it, just to get it over with quickly, is to look at my number first, because chances are I'm not going to win. If I don't make it to the yellow, then obviously we know that you have won. So let's, to make it nice and quick, check out number five first. So if we follow along, hopefully you can see this on the screen there. We'll go over, up, onto the other card there, up, over, down, follow the path here, down, over, up a little bit, all the way here, up, and over, and look at that. My one number, five, made it to the yellow, and I get to keep this dollar bill. Uh, if you want to, you can check out your four numbers. Look at each one, pause the video if you need to. Uh, look at each path individually. Follow it to the end, and you'll see that your four numbers don't end up at yellow, they end up at these other four colors here. Uh, so that is the effect. Like I said, one of my absolute favorites, probably top 10. And I like this trick because, uh, A, it's unique. It's not, you know, just another card trick. Uh, it's something completely different. It's a maze uh, turned into a magic trick. And I like this trick because this trick is full of spectator decisions. Everything that happened in this trick was up to the spectator. Uh, in my case, a dice. But if there was a spectator here, this trick would have looked the exact same they get to freely pick the color that represents the finish line. They get to freely pick their four numbers that they want. There is no force or anything like that. They get to pick their four starting points. And then they get to pick these, uh, take these cards, shuffle them up, lay them out however they want to. Everything that is done to build this maze from, from the beginning to the end is done by the spectator. And yet it, it will always work out where my one uh, position leads to the finish line. So uh, again, I absolutely love this trick, one of my absolute favorites, and I hope you guys uh, liked it too. I, I definitely recommend purchasing this trick. Uh, if you buy this trick, it looks different than this. I was able to make my own version of it, um, but you can buy this trick, it'll just look a little bit different than, than this one. Uh, so that is it, it's called Magic Maze, guys. I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, this trick. Let me know if you have any questions or anything about it. I'd love to uh, to talk about this trick with you. So uh, that's it for today, guys. Come on back to my channel uh, soon for more videos and have a great rest of your day. See you later, guys.